Hello everybody, welcome back into Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, this is day seven. Let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see, we have our beautiful new town hall that we just finished getting built. Nook's going to explain it to us a little bit, I assume. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 2.04 p.m. this happy Thursday, March 26th, 2020. Now that I'm sure you all can guess what's going, what I'm going to tell you next, it's today's big announcement. As stated in a previous broadcast, today we've completed construction of the Resident Services Building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. Yo, here we go. Come on over. It's Isabel, brother. Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the Resident Services staff here on Rojava. While I still have much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here, hmm? I've got more to share. The building isn't the only new thing around here. We give the plaza some much-needed improvements as well. Normally, the plaza is for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of its prime location. We keep an eye out for occasional seasonal events, too. Should be fun for everyone, yes, yes. Well, I believe that wraps up all my announcements for today. Except for one final thing. This is my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be your new source for Island News. I'll do my best to share all the latest updates with you, so I hope you'll tune in often. Yes, yes, there you have it. New building, new island staff. We are growing, growing, growing. Finding out what's new at Resident Services is as easy as stopping by and inquiring, hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new Resident Services building. We'd love for everyone to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be there to help you whenever you need us. Wahoo, dude. Let's go. Alright, so a quick update from last recording of yesterday. I did stream for like 10 hours after that. And we uh, we went to a Nook Miles Island and uh, and chopped down all the trees and picked all the flowers and grabbed everything, threw it all on the beach, and let me just run over and show you real quick. Filled up our inventory with tarantulas, <laughs> so we will be selling those. But uh, I'm gonna do that on stream. I'm not going to. Uh, it's not where I put my shovel. All my stuff's all messed up still. That's alright, I'll fix it later. Got a fossil. How's my inventory looking? Okay, we're, we're super good on inventory. Jeremiah, let's let's give him a wave. Hello, sir. Let's, let's go ahead and talk to him. Hi, it's me, Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I wonder if something fun will happen today. It could. Any old second. Any time now. I'm so excited. Yo, Jeremiah. You already said that to me, but I still think it's super cute. Alright, we probably got plenty of mail. No, just just the one. Okay. Let's celebrate the opening of the new resident services building. We have lots of new Miles Redemption items available. Plus, we now have a service for Nook Miles Plus members to earn five times more miles. Oh, shit. Place that in the pockets. I did not mean to favorite it, but that's okay. We got another Mo Nook Miles ticket. Let's go. That's funny. All right. Before we check out the day, let's go ahead and head back into our home. Our home away from home here in Rojava. Now what I'm going to do. There we go. So, first let's throw a couple things in storage. Uh... Alright, looks good. <laughs> I thought I had more. Uh, let me grab this Nook Miles ticket. I'm gonna plop that, that last one back down. And then, let's go ahead and get changed real quick. Let's see, I think we got a couple new outfits since last time. A couple new pieces of clothing. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we do have the uh, the star bits from last night. We I don't like this, but I kind of do. Let's see if we can make something out of it. Yeah, we got the star bits from last night from the meteor shower, so that'll be fun. <laughs> That's a cap I made. Let's see, coronavirus mask. You gotta keep it on, of course. See, do we have? Oh, I really want my like boots, boots. Um, we'll we'll wear nothing for now. Okay, let's try to go get our boots. <laughs> I think they're in one of the outfits. I think I'm just gonna get rid of these for now. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We don't have the wand quite yet. We should be able to make it today, but until we get that wand, let's go ahead and just yeet all those outfits out of here. We should have, there we go, some like work boots looking, yeah, much better. I like those better than the, the blue ones that we had. Okay. Oh. see that wood there okay and then this uh, this grass upper head we can throw up here I think this is the one from the trailer that everybody saw it looks super weird oh yeah oh yeah I don't know about that thing <laughs> we just got it from a balloon I'm pretty sure but uh, yeah well, I'll take it I'll take it I guess mucho weirdo all right. I think we got. A, do we got actual music? We got everybody hanging out. <laughs> Cat singing. Oops. Put that away for now. Jeremiah's doing yoga. Well, hello, Nutty. They say you shouldn't start your day without a plan, but they also say plans are a fool's errand. So, <laughs> oh, she's just chilling. She's sitting. Sterling's pumping iron. What up? Let's chat. Hey, you working up a big sweat out there? Don't forget to stay hydrated. Yo, what's the word? I didn't mean to interrupt your singing, but I wanted to talk to you. I love how chill it is here. Like, you can sleep till noon and nobody even notices. <laughs> go ahead and go back to singing. So cute. I think she's singing the town theme. We finally, or not the town theme, but the hourly music. The two o'clock is pretty freaking good. Alright, so that's almost everybody talked to. We just need Tammy, I'm pretty sure. Hello, Tammy. You inside for some reason? On this beautiful day? Guess Tammy's a bit of a loner. No, she's busy doing DIY. Let's go. Fine, I should have read the instructions. Whatever. <laughs> Cardboard table? Yo, that sucks. I'm building a thing. Hey, you want to know how to make a cardboard table too? Yes, please. You want to be the first pop tar slash st fashion designer slash DIY group? So I write down all of my recipes. Here you go. Alright, Tammy. It's so way easy. You slap one together in no time. Oh, yo, I like her uh, bunk bed. Or no, not even a bunk bed. That's super cute. I want that. Can you climb up in it and sleep? It doesn't look like it. Oh, well. I got big boomer energy with this outfit. I love it. Let's head on into town hall. That should have been the first thing we did, honestly. Try to get this freaking... Yeah, now this looks weird. I thought this would be center with the tent. But now it's just not. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing new on the bulletin board, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nothing to see there. Alright, let's head in here. <laughs> Alright.
right, here we go. Ah, Caleb, hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved resident services tent. Oh, did I say tent? Of course I meant building, and we couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. You're Caleb, right? Mr. Nook has told me about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of the new job. I love Isabel. Hello. Hello, hello, Isabel. But I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. And there you have it. Isabel and I will split up duties here to better support you all. Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help you with general island matters and resident support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush over in two swishes of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now so we can introduce you to some new services. Now with that out of the way, I have something I'd like you to your help with. When you have a moment, please sit at my counter. I hope I can count on you, your continued support of Rojava and our new resident services building. Yo, a new cardboard box. Let's go. Two of them. <laughs> People just dumping their cardboard boxes in there. It's cute. Super cute. A notice from the Nook Mileage Program. We're sorry that the Nook stop was unavailable all day yesterday due to construction on resident services. Make up for that, we're giving any customers who access the Nook Stop today 500 miles. Yo! Your daily access bonus will be set at 7 plus days tomorrow. Yo! Didn't ruin our streak. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Okay. So we can throw some shmoney into the bank account. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize we had such a little money. All right, let's give them let's just give them a simple 2 what is that? 5 8 4. That should do it. There we go. And even 30k. That's fine for now. <laughs> Redeem Nook Miles. We can do it all, baby. Bell voucher. I wonder how much how many bells do you get for 500 Nook Miles? Customizable phone case kits. Ultimate pocket stuffing, 8k. Yo, iron and stone fence is really dope, actually. Alright, first we're gonna buy this. <laughs> we can buy, I'm pretty sure we can buy everything. So, let's just do that. I'm very excited. We'll start with the recipes, because we're boring. Alright, let's keep it coming. Oh shit. Okay, let's start over. Drinking fountain, we already got that. Thanks to, uh, Cat gave that to us. Manhole cover. Stone tablet, nice. Destination signpost, nice. The wave breaker. Brick well, simple well. I like the simple well a lot. That's really cute. A stall. Oh, nice. Stone arch. Oh, the nice fountain. Definitely gonna get that. The outdoor path is so cute. Thanks, I love it. Silo is nice. Robot hero, dude. <laughs> Construction sign with a little Mr. Rossetti on it. These aren't DIYs, though. These are just, you pay a thousand miles to get them, I guess. Lifeguard chair is cute. The porta potty. <laughs> the street lamp. Utility pole, I don't know about that. Drink machine is super cute. Oh, it's got the little leaf on it. Yo, public bench. We uh, we might be here for, for a while. We got a snack machine to go with it. Let's, dude, let's go. That's definitely going right next to freaking town hall. Oh, man. Sp no more springy ride-ons. I bet you we can customize them. You have to be able to, right? Tourist telescope, that's cool. Park clock, that's lame. Phone box is, uh, phone box is cool. Sandbox is cute. Oh, that's so cute. Cotton candy stall, that's amazing. Playground gym. Parabolic antenna. Soccer goal is cool. That's something I've always wanted in Animal Crossing. Like from the GameCube with the soccer ball. Solar panels, very cool. Wind turbine. Lighthouse. The Godzilla statue, dude, these cost, these cost a lot, holy shit. Teacup ride, and the pool. 
Did they add any new Nook merch? I got like an Isabel hat or something like that. Nothing. Damn. Alright. Let's get this, of course. Of course. That should give us 40 pocket spaces. I'm good. We're already running low on miles, dude. Can't believe we had so many. I only grinded like one day. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it, dude. Let's go. <laughs> it's beautiful. We can catch so many tarantulas now, dude. Definitely going to be doing that on the stream tonight again. Alright, let's keep looking. Um, I think I think we're going to wait to order anything for right now. I definitely want the fountain, though. And, uh, and some of the other stuff. Probably the simple well. I don't know about the brick well. The simple wells is really cool looking. A little spooky. And the, the snack machines are super cool. <laughs> I love those. I love all of this stuff. This stuff's great. I'm curious. I'm curious about the bell voucher. The voucher you can sell in the shop for 3,000 bells. Oh, okay. It tells you that's, that's great news. That's great. Okay. Does it tell you details on like this? Special item only attainable by redeeming miles. Useful for customizing your island. Oh, it doesn't say nothing about... Oh, he breathes fire, dude? That's amazing. <laughs> I did not know he breathed fire. Straight fire, dude. Yeah, definitely gonna have to buy all the, the recipes, though. Even if I'm not even gonna use them, I want I want to be recipe rich. Yeah, this stuff this stuff's super cool. We'll we'll wait on that though. I don't want to spam the machine. Look at Isabel, fixing up her ears. Nook shopping. What do you got in here? Special goods, of course. I already got that. I already got that. Uh, <laughs> I already got that. The bear tea, the nine ball tea we do already have. Unfortunately, we do not have any red pants. So I'll take you up on that. Mr. KK. Let's go ahead and also send that to a couple friends. That's why we kept all this money. Now we're about to hit up the, the bank again after we sell these freaking tarantulas anyways. So it doesn't matter. Alright, we're going to send a couple of these out. Send a Gar Bear. Send a Cinny. I don't know, Mr. KK is not an incredible bounty. Nobody knows what Mr. KK is, but... It's alright. <laughs> and... We got one more person. Let's send to Robbie. Hopefully Robbie will start sending us some if we do this. Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and type out a little something. One second. It does take forever. There's no control A <laughs> to delete all these letters. That's okay. Something like this. There we go. Type something now real quick. <laughs> I was like, hey, we instead of like just hoping that they understand our, the point of our message, we could just type it out on the keyboard real quick. Anyways, 
Rubber toe sneakers. Yo, we do not have any pink shoes. So I'll take you up on that. And then can we buy this? We can. Okay, so we will. Alright. That's all for now. And now we can uh we can do stuff. What you got for me, Tom Nook? Well hello there. Just like that, your home has another proper room, hmm? Another upgrade for an even cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to Oh lord. Last time it was Oh god, that's so much. Oh yes, please make sure to make your payments. One other thing I should mention, as part of the home customization service available to you, you can now order replacement doors. Yeah, I'm just going to wait until I can fully upgrade, until my house is fully upgraded to start messing with that, because uh, when, I, when I tried it, all that was available was the mailbox and, uh, what was it, the roof color. And he just added doors, so I'm just going to hold out until we can do the exterior, like the siding and stuff like that, and like better roofs and stuff. Changing your door will change the vibe of your home, so I do hope you give it a try sometime. As always, I've been ever so nice doing. It's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. Was that it? Allow me to quickly explain the services offered at my counter. In addition to my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. There are all there are lots of fun little projects that will make this island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines such as ramps and stairs or even moving existing buildings. Let's go. These are optional extras for your island experience, so these services will of course incur additional fees. And with that, with that information in mind, what do you think? How can I be of assistance to you? Oh, time to jump into action. By the way, one of my favorite questions is what should I do? If you really want to dive in and get some work done, that's a good one. I enjoy giving my friends direction. Now. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I, how may I help you? Let's talk infrastructure, brother. What did you have in mind? Bridges, inclines. So layout changes is moving around buildings. I think our buildings are fine for now. I would like to mu move the museum eventually. Excellent, because with the renovation of resident services, we have something new for getaway package participants. This new service makes it easy and fun to add major projects such as bridges and inclines to the island. Major projects don't come cheaply, though. No, no. However, everybody who lives on the island can freely contribute towards the construction fees. We can discuss your island hopes and dreams, even if you don't quite have the funds together yet. Be advised! You can only have either a bridge or an incline under construction at any given time. Oh, man. Okay. Demolish something. Let's build another bridge. Pick one from our catalog. I... So... Okay, log bridge is the cheapest, and it would also match our other bridge. Um, I don't hate the log bridge, actually, is the thing. Stone bridge is very nice. Suspension is okay. Wooden bridge is pretty good. Brick bridge, I am not crazy about. Unless we did, like, iron brick pathing. But, uh, that'll come later, I think. Iron bridge is, is kind of cool. Red Zen and Zen. I don't know if I like either of those. These are very expensive, too. <laughs> um, honestly, until I decide what bridges I want my town to have, I think Log Bridge uh, kind of fits the aesthetic of it. Is it will, it, will I, will we, will we, oh jeez, will we be wasting 100k if, uh, for when we, uh, when we change up the bridges? Yeah, but, I mean... Would you rather waste that or 168k when you decide you don't like the stone bridge anymore or whatever, you know? Or 200k if you go with a brick bridge and decide, you know what? Bricks aren't for Rojava. We're just gonna, we're gonna go log bridge. It's going, uh, it's going up. You want to proceed with this bridge? Yes. Excellent. Let's settle on a location. Use the bridge marker kit I placed within your pockets to set aside some land. Okay. Use it near a river and you'll be able to imagine how it'll look. Alright, so that's going, if we pull up our map here, so yeah, that's going to go on the so on the southernmost point at the bottom bridge. Um, I should have put that other bridge, like, as far to the left as I could. 
Uh, we'll have to move that later, but that's not a very immediate project. I want to get all the bridges placed first, so we're going to do that. Actually, I don't really see the point in building too many bridges until we kind of terraform around the place. I don't know. I don't know. I think I want to get rid of this. Uh, I can't really point it out, but uh, I guess between on, on the D acres, uh, the four and five, kind of how the the river connects right there. I think I just want to get rid of that and just have it have the one waterfall and have it split to do different sides. I like how it curves and winds and all that, but uh, I think I do want to uh, I want to expand the the fruit orchard as well. So I might make that the the river that's running uh, east to west over on C. I might drop that all the way down to D and just make that nice and flat. And then kind of flatten out the uh, the cliff above it as well. With maybe like a little cave-in for the nook's cranny. I think that would look really nice. Alright, that's what I'm going to go with. Alright, plans are starting to come together. We are still going to build this bridge, I think. Over down there, just to make uh, accessing the other residents. And potentially Gulliver and all the seashells on the beach and everything. Just make it that much more easily accessible. You know what? What's your opinion on throwing the minimap on always on? Let's try that out for a little bit. Okay, so, so we can throw that bridge up in just a minute. Let's finish checking out the town hall. I don't think there's anything about my home. Along with your layout assistance, I'm also ready to help when residents want to move their homes. That's something we can do, even if you're still repaying your loan. If you're interested, tell me. Alright, how can I help you? Okay, so... Yeah, we're good on customizing and relocating. Let's just say we want to expand. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I didn't know we already had the loan. Alright, let's go with the ceremony. Let's, let's get that out of the way. Let's do it. Let's get everybody... Everybody's already right there outside anyways, so... Just go call them in real quick. Or pull them out, I don't know. <laughs> There's everybody. That's cute. Now then, welcome to our dedicated ceremony honoring Rojava's brand new resident services. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Rojava is developing wonderfully. I must confess, though... I thought our little resident services building might be a tent forever. But now here we are with the beautiful new facility the whole island can enjoy. Once again, I must thank everyone who supported our efforts. And I would be at fault if I failed to acknowledge the strong ally who will help me run things from now on. Isabel, if you could grace our friends island, or island friends with a few words. I'm so glad for this opportunity to say thanks to Rojava. Like Mr. Nook said, I'm Isabel. I haven't been on the island long, so I have a ways to go until I'm fully up to speed, but you can bet your bottom bell that I'll help in any way I can. If you need anything, come see me. We love you, Isabel. Thank you, thank you, Isabel. Next, we'll get a few words from someone who made our new resident services building possible. That's right, let's hear from our resident rep, Caleb. Anything to add? Whoa! <laughs> That's a good that's a good dialogue option. Yes, yes indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the screenshot button. Of course, we need to change that flag. I don't know what flag we're going to do just yet, but uh we'll make it something pretty just for Rojava. Make a little custom flag. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a long episode for sure. We haven't done... I mean, we talked to all the villagers already. But we haven't even talked to Isabel yet. And she's got a lot to offer us. I'm going to do the island flag on stream today. Oh, shit. Neither of them are at the counter anymore. Get over here, Tom Nook. <laughs> just chilling at his laptop. Isabel's just reading. That's cute. 
All right, let's hit him with the with the what should I do? Curious to know how you can help out, hmm? Well, we've got a fine building for resident services now, and you've no doubt admired the plaza, hmm? It's a primed and it's primed and ready for major events. If I have anything to say about it, I think that we started with a deserted island and have grown into a bustling community in only seven short days. I want to do something grand to celebrate. Oh yes, I have big plans. Good luck with that. Tell me more, sir. Oh ho ho, got your attention, hmm? Our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician KK Slider come and put on a show here in Rojava, dude. Caleb, I'm sure you know who KK is, yes. I'm his biggest fan, dude. I always knew you had an excellent taste. By the way, his song KK Lament is my go-to karaoke song. Yo, alright. Oh, sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan. It's easy to get sidetracked talking about him. Back to our goal. If we hold a KK concert here, Rojava could become a household name. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but a KK show would be the accumulation of all our hard work. I love your cooperation, Caleb. When you're ready for more details, come ask me what should I do again. I'm down right now. How do I do it? Uh, I take it this means you are ready to hear the details of my plan to draw KK here to hold a concert. I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents, and we'll create a Rojava so loved. Word of how great this island is, we'll reach KK, and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. So, for the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. A campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here. And it'll make for great PR material, too. With that in mind, could you get out your phone, Caleb? It's going to send me the, uh, the construction kit recipe, I assume. My little yellow nook phone. And done, I've sent you the recipe for our campsite construction kit. Let's go. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for our new campsite. I'm counting on you. Is that all? Alright, that, that, that is all, it seems. It's Isabel time, dude. She's like, oh, shit. Gotta help somebody. What up, Isabel? Welcome, Caleb. In case you don't remember, I'm Isabel. I look forward to being of assistance with your life here in Rojava. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details when specific concerns arise. No need to worry about that right now. But since you're here, I may as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Oh, this is so exciting. My first official request. Ahem, I'm sorry. That wasn't professional, was it? Now then, how can I help you today? Change the island tune, change the island flag, discuss a resident. Well, I'm sorry, Isabel, but I don't have the island tune picked out. Nor do I have the flag created. And, uh, I like all my people. So, uh, never mind. Alright then, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. So that's all she does for now. That's fine. Oh my god, our pockets are so big. Let's go, dude. We got the bridge kit, and we got the campsite kit that we need to make. I don't know where I want to throw the campsite. I don't know at all, actually. Let's, uh... <laughs> See if we can't look at the map. Um, We could throw it in Flower Field over there. It would not be a bad spot for it, I don't think. I think even better would be just, uh, hmm, I don't know, maybe maybe down there a little closer to the beach. Nobody's super on the beach. We can get rid of some flowers and, and some trees in favor of that. How would, a, how would a campsite, like, right over here look? Oh, there's our money tree spot. Campsite, like, right here. That'd be kind of cool. Could go with it. Yo! Star Fragment, let's go. Oh, they're just chilling on the beach, huh? Okay, we made a lot of wishes last night. Uh, there's a Nook Miles thing for making one wish. 30 wishes and then 200 wishes. And so, I just I just went AFK, or semi-AFK, and stared at the sky. And just listened for the stars, and just uh, grinded out the 200. So, <laughs> there should be a lot. Uh, we have our trusty vaulting pole out, so we can just freaking... Let's go grab those real quick. Let's do it. 
There's our outdoor benches. Those aren't staying there forever. Uh, we could pick up seashells while we're on the beach and doing th doing stuff. We could do clams. Would that take too long? No, we could do clams. Don't be lazy. We want plenty of bait. I got about 30. But I want even more. Hey, there's the big Ares fragment. Oh, that's not what I thought that was. Yo. The hell's an Ares fragment, dude? Set the shovel back on for the clams. Potential for hermit crabs, but honestly, I'm not really sweating the hermit crabs. If they come, they come. Not seeing any bait at the moment. Oh, there we go. They do make a little bit of noise, don't they? See, I'm trying out the no face cam for this series. Uh, I might go back to it next episode. I might stick with it. Just kind of depends. Who knows? There's another bell tree. Uh, I think for now we are just taking the money off of these. Are we leaving the trees up? No, I don't think that's necessary. We'll be fine without that. And... Hello. Mic off. Mic on. Alright, mic on. <laughs> now let's finish grabbing these chunky boys. That's a, that's a good amount of star bits. I think, um... I don't know, I did a lot of wishing on Sin's island. So I'm thinking maybe those wishes went over to her island. Not sure though. But uh, if she has like 10 times more than I do, I'm gonna be like, hey, fork over some bits, my dude. And then she probably will. <laughs> I don't really need bits though. I just wanted to craft the wand and I, I have enough to craft the bamboo wand now. Yo, Steph's hopping on New Horizons. Let me get these two clams and then I'm gonna try to best friend message her real quick. Nobody online? Are you kidding me? Is it me who's offline? Give it a little turn off, turn back on. Nothing? Alright. Oh yeah, what was our Nook Miles? Let's check that real quick. I think it was one of these. Yo, times five. Sell a hot item. Shop down trees. Shit, that's a thousand Nook Miles for doing that. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, that's right, I moved this over here. I was like, where the hell did we get this? No, uh, no bamboo saplings. Is this young? No, it's regular. Son of a bitch. We do desperately need young bamboo. I think we need one more piece. I was really hoping we'd get it right there, but I guess we can't craft the wand still, I guess. Now, it says Steph online, so let's check again. There we go. There we go. Classic. Hit him with the PP. All right, let's let's dig up a couple more clams. Doing our daily chores over here. We will uh we'll get to the bridge and all that. I'll do that on stream. Don't you guys worry. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot to do. It's gonna be fun. Got rocks to smack. We got fossils to dig up. I think I'm just gonna do the fossil digging on stream as well as the talking to Sahara. Hello, Sahara. It is nice to see you. Hopefully, I don't get any duplicates. But I have some uh, some Sahara tickets that we can use. 
So she won't cost too much. Not that I'm really worried about that. A lot of seashells. Did we collect a 10 stack? I don't, I doubt it. No, we got pretty close with the sand dollars. Sand dollars are super common. All right. So we talked to Isabel, we talked to Tom Nook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to peep the shop real quick. Wow, I can't believe we filled up our pockets. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, shoot. I, uh, I might need some pocket space to buy things. That's okay. Yo, I'll just come buy it later. Yo. Yeah, I'll come buy it later. The calligraphy set, this thing, is very cute. I'll definitely have to buy this, and also the pink cat tower is adorable. Definitely going to be buying that. The bad umbrella again, yes. Let's see. Any any roses? I have not seen them sell roses. I don't think they do. We got a new DIY kit. We do not. That's fine. Honestly, don't have the means to... Zebra print flooring is pretty ugly. Blue desert tile flooring is kind of nice. We do have to purchase it though. Of course. Also hit up the blue desert tile, because this one looks kinda nice. I don't know. And uh do we have the green intricate? I don't believe so. They added they added so much. <laughs> Goodness. Alright, is there anything? I mean, I guess we could learn these two. That's fair. The cardboard table seems like it could be cool. I hope it uses cardboard boxes. I do have two of those. I'll wait to sell those, because I think that that might be the case. We have two star fragments. Or, sorry, 12 star fragments. I thought those would be the big ones. Three Ares fragments. So we don't have the big star fragments. So we can't craft either wand at the moment, which is fine. But yeah, that's where I think I'm going to end this YouTube video. It's gone on quite long enough. It, time flies in Animal Crossing. An hour goes by super freaking quick, especially when it's a new day and you got all sorts of stuff going on. Like, I could definitely like just continue the YouTube video for like another hour easily. But anyways, guys, I'm going to switch over to the stream after uh, after I get this uploaded and get a thumbnail made up for this real quick. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, I hope to see you in the next video. Yeah, that's about it. Goodbye.